Uh-oh. What's the matter, Sky? That is not something I like to see. Oh my gosh. Because I think she... I'm gonna give her some banamine. Oh, I'm sorry I scared you. I don't know how to work the camera now. She's eating. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Is she just comfortable here? I don't think so. She's so pretty though. I don't know. All right. Sky, are you okay? It's okay, I just banged the door. It's okay. Pretty princess. Why you gotta make us worried, eh? She's been laying down a little this morning, you guys, and it makes me nervous because it's not like her. She's eating, she's drinking a ton. I have not seen if she's pooped yet. She's more um, active in the herd today. She's bossing Gracie around like crazy. She was lunging her this morning, the girl said. Lots of water. Change can be a really hard thing on a horse. She's shaking. I can see her ribs. This is the first time I've ever seen her without her blanket. Good morning guys, welcome to today. I'm really struggling with this new camera. I haven't figured it all out yet. It is driving me insane. I'm also really worried about Sky. Like a lot of things changed overnight and I knew it would, honeymoon period. But um, she's laying down and none of our horses ever just laid down for no reason. Like that's just not a common thing. They let, she let Gabby walk up to her even. Uh, but then, at the same time, she we just took her blanket off for the first time, and she, it's hot out. It's so hot out. Our horses should have their blankets off. Seven degrees. It's humid, even. Anyway, um, I don't know. I'm going to talk to Fiona. I have some banamine if she needs that. Um, she doesn't appear to be colicking. She drank two buckets of water. She is eating happily. She is on the move, chasing the horses. That's the other big change. She is chasing them around and letting them know today she is the boss of them all, but it's the laying down that really gets to me. Anyway, fittingly, today's video is all about Scott. I'm gonna tell you guys her story, and we are gonna go shopping and get a few things for her, and I am gonna check with Fiona about if this is normal behavior for her. Sam's just getting shavings in the back there. Always need shavings. That is the bane of my existence. Anyway, we got Sky her very own blanket. I don't know how long it's been since she's had a blanket, but I'm excited for her to have her own blanket. Um, we couldn't get her color. Her color is red. She, uh, when she came to us, her color was red, and I like that. I think that we're just gonna stay with that. But like anything else, you can never get what you want in the color that you want in the size that you want. Anyway, so we were at the tech store and we met up with a lot of people that we know there, Storm's old owner and um, the girl that works there that's really kind to us all the time and just ran into a bunch of people. And it was the first time that I had talked about Stella in public, like going out and people saying, you know, I'm really sorry what happened. Oh my gosh, crying like a baby. Like, I think you're doing well until you have to talk about her and share with other people. Like we don't, even go into detail we just they just said like I'm so sorry what happened and then ah! I was crying like but yeah onward and upward um a lot of people have been posting that 2019 was a really rough year for them and I don't really remember a year that was a rough year like last year I fell and broke my pelvis and this year Stella left us and seems like there's something every year but typically I only see the good I only see the good and I there was so there was so much good in 2019, but the end of the last two years has sucked <laughs> so much. No, I'm like, how am I gonna run? So this is Sophie today. A couple days after Christmas, three days after Christmas, two days after Christmas, this is Sophie. And this is Gabby, two days after Christmas. You guys might be shocked. You're also gonna get to see Sky for the first time with no blanket on. So, Sky. With no blanket on, she'd be looking cute. Isn't she beautiful? Like, how did I not know this horse was so beautiful? She's also a moody mare. Is she a moody mare? No, she's sassy. Eat a sassy mare. 
That's okay. So he lunges, Gracie. Gracie trots, throws her head, and pins her ears. This guy doesn't give a crap. Why are you so mean to her? I feel like she's a good shape. I feel like she's a not bad weight, but she could use a lot of muscle. Yeah, all that poop is just from today. Yeah. Since we took her blanket off. Yeah. Guess how old Sky is? I don't know. You're going to be shocked. How old do you think she is? I don't know. Take a look at her body and see how old you think she is. Take know. a look at her teeth. Show us your teeth, Sky. Oh, she's just a baby. <laughs> very good. She's a baby. Yeah, she does not have very... She's like, don't touch my mouth. So, what would you guess compared to Finn's teeth? Um, Finn is young. He's three? eight. Nope, she's older than three. Um, five? Close. Six? She's six. You're a six-year-old. Our youngest horse yet. She's like, I don't know. You guys just Gabby left me here. Gabby had to teach her manners today. Yeah. Because she was trying to run Gabby over when she was playing, taking off the Oh, that's another thing about Skye is that um, we've just been letting her sit the last few days since we got her. Four days ago, three days ago. I People, people say that when you get a new horse, you should just let them acclimatize themselves to your place. And that's what we've been letting her do. Just relax. It's nice that it happened over Christmas. She's skinny. Is she skinny? Yeah. She's a little skinny. A little bit. Well, fattening her up is one thing that we could handle. I will put Santa hat on her. No, we can't put anything on her until we get her. Mrs. Don't walk out. I had to teach her a lesson this morning on when she's leading, how to stop beside a person and stop running them over. Hopefully she remembers. So Skye is a uh, Appaloosa paint cross. She's kind of paint at the front and Appaloosa at the back. She doesn't have that many dapples. What's I read that when Appaloosa crosses have short stubby tails like this and sparse manes that it means that they have a lot of Appaloosa in them. And the Appaloosa that I see in Skye is her stubbornness. She's kind and a gentle soul like Stella was. And Stella was more sassy. Hey! Shh, shh, shh. See I Stella was more sassy like, um... No, Sophia, these are her brushes. Like, how dare you say that about me? And Skye is more, I'd like to see you make me do it. I feel like Skye is maybe more, um... Lazy. I'm going to show you guys her rain rot. So essentially she doesn't have any rain rot that you can see. It's just all little. See there's a spot right there. You see it's a little bit raised. It's just a little. should be wearing gloves. I don't have any gloves. It's just a little lump of dry. It's just like a. It's like a little scab. And she has them a little bit on her bum and on her legs. I don't know how we're going to get them out. She's also in double gray on her chest. We're going to figure it out though. But anyway, so I have some medicine. Holy cow, she has like a lot. I don't know how, how to treat that. I mean, I have... Like I thought it would be more like a sore that we could treat, but really it's just like a little tiny lump. In one stroke, I only found one. In one stroke? Yeah. In one stroke? Like this. This side has a I lot more. 16, yeah. Well, yeah, I feel them. Right yeah. So, oh, see, look, it just fell right out in my hand. That is so horrible. So now we're going to treat that. I'm going to get a spray bottle, but for now, I just have. It's going to take a long time. This is going to take a long time it's to treat. Out of my hand. So okay, I'm going to tell it. you guys Sky's story. We're going to put it in garbage can. Yeah, let's get a garbage bag. So basically, this is Skye's story as I know it. Um, Skye, so Fiona, our trainer. Oh, hi. Hi, Minnie. I can't touch you. I don't want any spots on you. So basically, our trainer, Fiona, went to purchase some horses for the school. Some nice beginner, safe horses. And she was trying out a couple of horses. And... There was an opening in the door of the arena that she was at and they were trying out the, these horses neither of them were suitable and all of a sudden this horse just 
trotted by the opening of the door. She wasn't supposed to be there. She had escaped her paddock and she just went trotting by, pretty as can be, with this big, huge, floaty, amazing trot. And she trotted to the end, she tried to pass the door, trotted to the end of the laneway, and then jumped a four foot fence to go back into, the, back into her area with her herd. <laughs> Fiona told the person that farm she was at, she said, oh, your horse is free. And the person said, oh no, that is your horse, because apparently she was for sale as well. So basically, she had to escape her paddock and um, walk past the door for Fiona to even know she existed. And so that is how she became a lesson pony. She was meant to be a lesson pony. She needed to have a few rides under her belt before they could put her into the program. Just like every horse, they need to try them out a little more and see what they can do, have other riders ride them. And before any of that could happen, she went to her new paddock and she got spooked and scared last summer by the cows that were out there and she ran and she jumped a five foot fence. So clearly she is a jumping horse. So she was a little sore from jumping the five foot fence. She did scrape up her, the front of her legs a little tiny bit. And then there are all the shows. It just was a really busy time and nobody really had time to work with her and to see what she had, what she could do. Um, they were slowly bringing her into one other girl, Gabby's friend, Rachel. She's been riding her and bringing her back into work slowly. And she's been doing really, really, really well. Um, she's six years old. She'll be seven this year. And that is all I really know about her. I know that she's a 15.1 hand horse, apparently, but I just don't see it. I do. Yeah, I do too. So she, I, yeah, she looks about. Not seeing. Oh yeah, turns around. Oh yeah, I see. Well, well, she looks like she has short legs. More body than legs. But she's very pretty. So that is Skye's story. To become a part of our family, she had to jump a four foot fence and trot by a door so that she could be noticed by Fiona so that she could become a part of our family. It's amazing how God works though. You never suspect how an animal is gonna come into your life, but when an animal does come into your life, you know it's gonna be a great, a great thing. She's all groomed. Okay, I'm and now we're all dirty. We're all wanna, so I've got medicine here that I've been putting on her. 
I'm gonna pick up her foot. Now. Okay, so now we're gonna see what her feet are like. What how she's like with her feet. Good girl. Uh, can you grab me a hoof pick? Oh, you almost would think that you'd have a hoof pick before you started. So Gabby got this whole set of red stuff for Christmas. Oh, and there's a comb. That comb would be great. Oh my goodness. That sponge would be good too. What a pretty girl you are. Yes. Ruby, is that your new best friend? Good girl. So basically there's nothing really bad about Skye. Like there's no, you know how sometimes you get a foster horse or a horse that needs your help and it'll have like lameness issues. Uh, she did need farrier work. She was a little bit sore. The farrier that first trimmed her cut her short, cut her feet short. And that was the, the regular issue before is that the farrier kept cutting her feet so short and every time she would get her, fair, her feet done, her she'd be sore for two weeks until they grew back a little. So she will see our chiropractor. Um, that'll be exciting. She likes it. She likes it, Soph. And she will see our farrier who will take, oh, there's a big here. rock. I can, um, she'll see our farrier and she will have all the love that we can give. Look at her, she seems like she likes it. That's so odd, she oh, does. Yeah. She is a very expressive horse. She does tell us what she wants. She wants to go with the other horses. <laughs> that was a big rock. Yeah. Okay, keep going. She also, um, wow, I can't believe how beautiful she is. Like, I never noticed how beautiful, look at her. She's like listening to everything we say. She's trying to figure us all out. Do you like it, Sky? She's like, what's happening? Are they gonna ride me today? Oh, we absolutely, it, she is rideable. She is, uh, probably does need a really good restart. She's been in the process of that before she came to us. But Gabby would be able to manage her, I'm sure. And she's quiet under saddle. She's quiet horse. Don't you guys think she's a quiet horse? She's an Appaloosa cross, for goodness sake. She's a half Stella and a half not Stella. Yeah, she's her own person. Sky, she's her own person. You are your own person, huh? Your own sweet soul. And she's been really good so far for us. What? Do you like it? Or is she trying to tell us that she's tired of it? No, she put her foot down if she needed to. But did you see that? She lifted up her back foot. So when... Don't paw. Don't paw. There's no pawing in the day-by-day -day farm. Good girl. She's so good. She is so good. So the one day that I handled her at the other barn, she was crazy. She was off the wall crazy. And Fiona kept saying she's not crazy though. I don't understand why she was crazy. So she must have been having a rough day, huh? It was cold, it was windy. She's still I'm in sick. Yeah, she's still in the honeymoon period though. Wow, look at all the junk in her feet. Good girl, Sky baby. So um, I definitely want to work with the rain rot before we ride her because I don't want to put a saddle on her and I don't know. She's been being ridden, so I don't know. But we need to work out a saddle for her. Oh, is this your better back foot? Is that your better back foot? I'm excited for our team to meet her. Our chiropractor's already met her, but I'm suspecting she'll be better. So yeah, this is Sky. This is all about Sky. I'm gonna put a different blanket on her and keep her good one. It's warm out, so I don't. She doesn't need that big of a one. So I'm gonna go see if I can find one that fits her. Yeah. All right. So we can't touch our ponies now. We can't touch you. Uh, I had to put another blanket on her. I don't want to put her new blanket on her when she's got rain rot because, well obvious reasons it's gonna be hard to keep everything separate don't touch me Gracie Gracie always comes to me she's always like pet me pet me but I can't pet you don't look don't I can't pet you um so I had to put another blanket on her and that was the smallest one that we had I don't want to put like a really warm one on her because it's not too cold out today 
She was really good though, you guys. What do you think of Skye? We have no expectations for this girl, none. Like, no expectations at all. I just want to live and see where this journey with her leads us. I wanna to continue to grow and learn with our horses, with our little herd, and having to treat her rain rot, which obviously you guys saw was not very bad at all, just at the very beginning stages. It was a big learning curve for us, and so, yeah, things are changing though. She is starting to take over the herd. That was one of the biggest things that happened to me. But you guys know how when you're in the thinking about stages of something new, something like another pet, or a new house, or a new anything, and your your brain gets clouded with uh, all the bad parts. Like before we decided to get Sky, I worried about like I worried about how our herd would respond to her. I didn't want to upset them. I want them to know that they're the most loved and that they were here first. And I was worried about if she was mean, like Storm. And I was worried about so many things. And I had to push all those thoughts aside to bring her here. And ever since we did, it's only been amazing. All kinds of amazing, all kinds of awesome. I'm so glad that we did that. Is that ice in your bucket? We've got the water bucket over there, but we also just have this one here in case there was some, I can't touch you. <laughs> She's like, but give me food. I can't, I cannot touch you. Gabby is super grouchy today, like super grouchy. So she went up to the house. Hopefully she just needs to eat. She's kind of been off this whole holiday. So I suspect it's because she's not getting enough sleep. <laughs> she wants, don't touch me. You do not want rain rot. I guess you and I every crazy summer <laughs> And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below